Virgo. How are we? Uh, so, what's going on? The feeling of, I don't know. Almost like a certain kind of surrender. Like something was let go of finally. Um, something was changed, let go of, or something new was started. One of the three. Very heavy, very, very heavy. Um, a new path has appeared. Things are getting a little bit shinier. And I don't want to sound like a broken record, so if you're new, definitely watch uh, April's Virgo video. Because the same things that started happening last month are going to be echoing into this month and into the next few months as we go forward. So, we're still letting go of old pleasures, old things that, you know, we did for pleasure. Um, old loves, old things that we took part in um, for pleasure in some way. And there's something that we don't want to let go of. <laughs> there's something that we are defending. Something that's been around possibly for a while. Or this could involve children memories something along those lines you also have the wheel your card reversed and the tower oh wow definitely new directions happen happening with the high priestess reversed after that definitely new directions happening definitely some knowledge coming out here that's changing everything um, a whole new direction coming in something that we were not expecting that we were totally unaware of that's going to help put us on a more stable path. Trust this. Trust this. It's coming in hot and heavy, but it looks freaking good. Um, it is a slower path, but it is a trustworthy path. If you can only let go and quit fighting this past, this thing from the past, this connection, this feeling, like I said, whatever you're doing for pleasure, that makes you almost feel like a child or you've been doing since you were young. That wheel is coming in and taking it. Could be something that you do in secret or something that you do in hiding. And I know this is like a weird way to put it, but like, you know, it's kind of like, for whatever reason, say that you like to I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. You have the Queen of Pentacles coming out here. Some of you guys could be dealing with a new learning path, um, a new creativity path, a job situation. Um, some of you guys could be dealing with another Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, okay? Um, but let's say that you like to drive really, really fast because it makes you feel like really comfortable for some reason it gives you pleasure to like drive really really fast like it there's like a, a thrill in it like a just whatever it gives you pleasure and that's what you like to do for fun too many cards in your spare time and you keep getting all these tickets and you keep getting all these tickets and you keep getting all these tickets and up until last month okay what would happen is you would go to court and you would lose your license but with all these planets going retrograde, it turns internal. So now there's things happening inside of you or with yourself that are somewhat out of your control, but due to your own making. Um, like let's say you're driving and you get in a wreck or something crazy and now you've broken your foot, so now you can't keep driving super, super fast. You know, that kind of thing. Letting go of toxic shit there's an air sign that is not telling the truth there's an air sign that may have had some harsh words or isn't telling the truth or you're not telling the truth 
you have a lot of air in your chart, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Um, there's an air sign here that you may have some arguments with. They feel like you betrayed them in some way. They feel like you have been unloyal to them in some way. Um, or they did this to you. We have the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Swords reversed. Six of Swords. So I would say there's an air sign that is possibly moving out of your life or thinking about moving out of your life. Um, and they may have some harsh words or something like that, okay? So, kind of echoing what was going on last month here. It was a lot, but astrology-wise, you guys had a lot of stuff to let go of, but you guys had a lot of new things coming in. Uh, last month was a very good time to start something new, to really, even if you had old ideas, like it was a good time to, you know, make them come into light, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, it seems like there is a new direction for you, Virgo. There is a completely new direction for you. Um, something that you didn't see coming, like I said, some kind of knowledge is going to come out and it's going to uh, to change some shit up. Possibly has to do with your belief systems, um, things like that. Because this month, Taurus for you is your ninth house. Therefore, this has to do with higher learning, foreign travels, um, foreign countries, foreign people, um, all kinds of stuff. And most of all, getting out of your comfort zones. Getting out of your comfort zone. Getting out of your comfort zone, but you don't want to get out of it. You need to trust this process. Some of you could definitely be traveling and it could be like a long way, okay? Or it could be a slow travel. Um, a lot of change is happening for Virgos right now. Um, and a lot of it has to do with, like we kind of talked about last month, things that you take pleasure in or children, okay? Um, so this could be codependency, um, toxic things that you do that aren't very good for you, that you do for fun or that you do for pleasure, that you do to get relief, um, trying to control your children, um, like being too over controlling of your children, um, things that you cling to because they make you feel comfortable. And this month is going to be a lot about getting out of those comfort zones. So this explains it. So towards the third week of May, we have the Scorpio full moon, which is in your third house. So this is possibly gonna cause you to feel a little bit emotionally unstable, especially mentally, okay? Um, you you may be facing a big fear with all of this belief system energy coming out with all of this um hidden knowledge coming out tearing down your belief systems tearing down your what you thought you knew there's a sense of fear here because now you're stepping into unknown territory you're stepping you're stepping into a situation that you're not comfortable in. You're stepping into new territory and that can cause a bit of fear, okay? Um, this air sign, okay? If you are dealing with an air sign, remember this is a general reading, so uh, I might be getting mixed messages for different people, whatever. If you are involved with this air sign, 
specifically a Libra. Came out sideways, so I guess I'll keep it up right. So it just came out as I was saying that. You could be cutting this air sign off or they could be cutting you off and walking away. Um, or they could just be traveling. There could be a distance here, but there could be some kind of words involved where you're not happy about it. Um, they might not even be communicating with you, okay? They might be not communicating with you. It could definitely be a Libra. Um, and let's see, let's clarify it a little bit more. What is this Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords, Reverse, Six of Swords, and Justice, Virgo, May 2019. Oh yeah. Someone that might, okay, so this could either be someone that you're splitting up from, walking away from, bottom of the deck, or someone that you're gonna be at a distance with, okay? Um, they could be a Gemini, a Libra, or another air sign, possibly an Aquarius. Um, yeah. It definitely looks like somebody that you would possibly be at distance with or maybe you're splitting up from. This new life path, okay, listen. This new life path, Virgo, you can't take everybody on it. You can't carry everybody on your back end and take them with you along for the ride, okay? Uh, you just can't do it. You can't do it. Um, you know, as much as you might try to do it, you can't. You can't. This new direction, like, it's time for Virgo to worry about Virgo for once. It's time for Virgo to worry about Virgo and not everybody else. It's time. Like, I'm sorry, but it's time. Um, so anyways, back to this month. Um, there's a deep letting go of certain pleasures. There's this deep letting go of control issues and, and um, feeling the need to crawl back in our old comfort zones, our old ways, our old behaviors, our old things that we did that we took pleasure in that made us feel safe because whatever's coming is not going to make you feel safe. You're definitely, um, things are definitely going to get shaken up. But it's going to put you on a new solid, stable path, one of learning, one of growth, okay? Because we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, okay? So he's a loyal knight, you know? He's a loyal-ass knight. He takes his time. He makes sure shit's done before he keeps moving. And he's a loyal-ass knight. And now you have the Knight of Cups coming out here. Well, okay. So... So the Knight of Cups is going after the Eight of Cups. Um, some of you guys are walking away for new love. Some of you guys are walking towards new love. Some of you guys are walking away from love. Some of you guys could be needing to heal from a Leo. Or there could be healing taking place to do with a water sign. Or this Knight of Cups could represent any of the other signs that I've named off, okay? Um, so let's see. We have the Three of Cups, the Page of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles reversed, okay? So... There could be some gossip around the end of the month possibly going on. Some news that comes to you from friends about somebody that is possibly taking advantage of you or was taking advantage of you for possibly money, okay? Um, something to do with gossip, something to do with friends, something to do with... Uh, news some of you guys could be going on a trip with friends towards the end of the month 
Um, and I think you may lose some money doing that. If that's the case for some of you, it's going to be different for some of you. So, okay. The Eight of Swords and the Fool. So, okay, here's the thing, Virgo. If this news is coming in, okay, if this news is coming in possibly from communication, social media, gossip, friends, some kind of news is coming in to do with somebody that you should have gave up on a long time ago that possibly is taking advantage of you, uh, you may turn a blind eye. And I really hope that that's not true. But with the Fool and the Eight of Swords, you may feel a little bit like a victim and feel like, and be really naive about it don't do that because you will end up right back where you started if you get away from this person if this is the person that some of you are possibly getting away from and this happens and you end up in fear mode when the Scorpio full moon comes right don't go back to where you started some of you are going to be breaking the chains of your fucking fears getting out of the toxicity finally leaving behind a third party situation or an unhealthy situation where you and the other person or other people did not work together this could be work family um, a living situation a relationship a friend group it doesn't matter some of you guys are finally getting the balls to walk away from this situation and it's been a long time coming you're changing you're growing it looks fucking good for some of you for some of you you might turn a blind eye and keep on going with this person there's a few different storylines here I'm not gonna lie um, but it looks good uh, for most of you like the general energy I'm getting for most of you is that it looks good you've identified the problem you're moving on from it etc etc uh, we will clarify more in your guys's bonus reading if you didn't know I am doing I brought back the extended bonus readings for each sign they will be on my patreon you can get them for five dollars um, all of them for uh, five dollars and you can sign up it's like five dollars once a month but you can cancel before the next month charges or whatever and then for ten dollars if you didn't know then you uh, can get like pretty much a short personal reading every week all my ten dollar and up patreons get a personal live where they get to do they get to ask a question and I read cards for them so if you're interested in that check out the description below or if you just want a regular personal reading I have a ton of new ones uh, and I keep my prices fairly low so check out the description below for that as well anyways moving on so let's go back over this so we are trying to keep the upper hand in a situation that gives us pleasure that's been around for a while uh, possibly for some of you this could be really trying to control your children your children could be out of control right now because of this Capricorn transit it could be showing you like okay if you're gonna keep doing this I'm gonna keep you know making shit out of your control even crazier you know what I mean so some of you guys could be like really trying to get the upper hand on your kids some of you guys could really be trying to get the upper hand on something that makes you feel like a child something that makes you feel safe a comfort zone a pleasure of yours like I was talking about earlier but the wheel comes in it's karmic as shit and it brings some kind of knowledge that comes out some kind of withheld information that comes out is no longer a mystery that really shatters some kind of belief system that you had some kind of uh, comfort zone some kind of karmic thing to go on this ride you have to be able to let go of the old and I know that's very hard for you as a Virgo um, but you have to be uh, it's giving you something more stable more better it's helping you evolve and grow into who you're meant to be 
Now, we have this separate situation for some of you. You guys, could, if you're dealing with an air sign, um, they could be walking away or there could be some words, some distance between you guys. The communication could be um, not the best. The communication could be not the best right now. Um, because of whatever knowledge that this came, that came out or whatever comes out, whatever new direction slaps you in your head, Virgo, it could be they might not want anything to do with it. Um, so clarifying that came out justice, the lovers reversed, and the eight of cups. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Libra or a Gemini or another air sign, which would be Aquarius. Um, possibly a water sign, a Le I mean, we have most of the signs here, pick one. Um, uh, this is a general reading. So, um, yeah. So, some of you could be dealing, uh, some of you could be dealing with uh, some court stuff. If you are, some legal stuff. You possibly said something or had some kind of idea that is going to come back and bite you in the ass because of this. It will be a fair judgment though because justice is upright. Um, so whatever was done, whatever consequences happen because of this, whatever reactions happen because of this, it's definitely fair. It's not unfair, so to say, because justice is upright. Really, it came out sideways, but it was leaning more towards being upright. So um, then we have the lovers reversed. So this is some kind of split, some kind of uh, split up, break up. This could even be an ex um, that you have blocked communication with or something along those lines or a friend, uh, somebody that you had a connection with, um, and, or it could just be distance. It could be distance, okay? Because then we have the Eight of Cups here as well. Um, but some of you are leaving a relationship of some kind behind for something better, and I'm very proud of you for it. Um, then we have the Nine of Swords reversed with the Nine of Cups reversed. Two nines. The Scorpio full moon. Could definitely bring some stress some mental fear coming to life um, whatever happens with this person leaving I definitely think uh, you know it could get you down but it's not gonna be as bad as you think Virgo uh, because you know the nine of swords reverse we're definitely dealing with some kind of loss of someone or something here um, something that exited our lives um, for some of you Someone could be giving you some kind of emotional offer. It could be a Leo or a water sign, or you could be needing to heal from a Leo, okay? Um, there could be a Leo coming back around, but you still haven't healed from them, or you could be coming back to them, but they still haven't healed from you. Something along those lines, okay? Um, this looks like, I'm not gonna lie, this looks like more of a friendship or companion type deal than it does a like actual love thing, but it could be both. So then there's some news that comes in through friends, through gossip, through possibly social media, comes in through socializing communication somehow of somebody that's been taking advantage of you or somebody that's been taking money from you somehow and you did not know about it. You're definitely probably the victim of this or possibly you are taking advantage of someone in their money or resources and this comes out. Um, yeah. But whoever was the victim of it definitely feels like the victim, definitely feels like the fool. Or this could come out and you could feel like if it was you, if you, you know, were kind of taking advantage of someone or using someone or took money from someone, um, or if there's some kind of money that you've been waiting on but somebody ended up taking it from you, you could feel like the victim. Or if you did this to someone else, you could still feel like the victim. But all in all, towards the end of the month, we are finally getting rid of a situation that has been very, very toxic, okay? The devil reverse, death upright, the three of, uh, Pinnacles here reversed. There was a situation that was too crowded. There was no loyalty. There was no teamwork um, It was just Too crowded too fucking crowded and we're finally leaving it behind. This could also have something to do with 
a Scorpio or a Capricorn Virgo. So that is your guys's May 2019 reading. It's pretty much all about what you think you know and what you really don't know. Um, learning new things. There's going to be major, major energy in your ninth house. And this is all about expanding your comfort zones, expanding your thoughts, your belief systems, your learning. Like you're going to be really wanting to learn things. You're going to, you're going to be wanting to, to take a new direction. I do see traveling for some of you and it looks really good. Um, it could be a little bit slow or the communication could be a little bit off but it looks pretty good. So I hope that resonated with you guys. Let me know down below as always. And remember to check out my Patreon if you wanna see more where I clarify all of this and go into more detail. Um, if you wanna see the bonus extended reading and make sure to book a reading with me. I have a new monthly reading where you can get your chart read for the whole month of May and see how May is going to affect you and your individual chart personally. And I also have a tarot reading for the month of May if you want to get your own reading just like this, but just for you. And I will see you guys in June. I had to think for a minute. <laughs> Bye Virgo.